Installing Windows on a Mac is easy, but did you know you can install Mac OS on a PC? It's not a project for those who don't like to get hands-on with hardware, but with the right combination of components and effort, it is possible. Here are the requirements. An existing computer with Windows, Linux or a Mac. A Hackintosh compatible computer with an empty hard drive. A minimum of 15 GB of space is required, but at least 50 GB of space is recommended. Hackintosh Catalina Installer Catalina Installer is a distribution of MacOS Catalina that has been modified to work with PCs. You must register on the website to be able to download anything. An empty USB drive, 16 GB or larger. The following guide is a complete walkthrough for updating to or installing a fresh version of Mac OS Catalina. It requires no experience. Steps Step 1. Download Mac OS Catalina. Step 2. Create a bootable USB with Chance Mac. Step 3. Recommended BIOS settings. Step 4. Install Mac OS Catalina. Let's start first download Mac OS Catalina. The link is on the description. Click on download button. Scroll down and click on download from Hackintosh shop. Agree and download. Now you need to create account on the website. Click login register button. Fill up the list. Next verify the email address. Now you'll be able to download the file. This zip file will give you a torrent link to download the Mac OS or Catalina. You must have torrent client uTorrent or BitTorrent to be able to download the file. If you don't have already installed on your system, download and install from this website. Next you need to download and install TransMac. The link is in the description. Connect your USB drive. Open ChanceMac as administrator. Right click on USB drive and click restore with disk image. Click yes. Now select the Mac OS file that you downloaded before. And click OK. Click yes again.
Once this process is completed, go ahead and go prepare your BIOS. To get into BIOS you need to restart your PC and press the right key on the keyboard. Recommended BIOS settings. If your CPU supports VTD, disable it. If your system has CFG lock, disable it. If your system has secure boot mode, disable it. Set OS type to other OS. If your system has IO serial port, disable it. Set C handoff to enabled. If you have a 6 series or x58 system with a Ward BIOS, disable USB 3.0. Save and exit. You're almost done. All you need to do is boot from the USB drive and install. Turn on the computer. Press the hotkey to choose boot device. F12 for Gigabyte motherboards. FH for Asus motherboards. F11 for Ashrock motherboards. Choose USB. At Clover Boot Screen, choose Boot MacOS Install from Install MacOS Catalina. Click Continue. For a new installation of MacOS, you must erase and format the destination drive according to the following steps before continuing. From the Mac OS Utilities menu, open Disk Utility. In upper left corner, choose View. Then show all devices. Highlight your target drive for the Catalina installation in left column. Click Erase. For name, type Mac OS. You can rename it later. For format, choose a PFS. Click Erase. Close Disk Utility. Click Continue and Agree. When the installer asks you where to install, choose Mac OS. Click Customize and select all options. Click Continue. Upon completion, the system will automatically restart. After PC restarts disconnect USB. Now Mac OS is installed into the hard drive. You need to change boot order and make Mac OS on the top. Now it will automatically install.
you now have a fully updated bootable version of Macos Catalina on your PC. And a super handy USB rescue drive. It's easy to get frustrated, but don't give up. If you get stuck, comment below.